we gather together in quality, praise and worship of the true and living God. Equipped with the word of God for growth and fellowship with one another in common and relationship. And release, release to make a formidable impact in our world. Whatsoever I shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. You know, the, the problem is the, the Holy Spirit is here. He's readily available. But the problem we're having is that we have, we, have under, we, have, we have underutilized the benefits of the Holy Spirit. He can be here, he say, where two or three are gathered, I'm there. Him being there doesn't mean the presence will be mighty. You are the one to engage it. You are the one to engage. This morning, we are going to engage the Holy Spirit. If he doesn't go into, into action, nothing will happen. He will be here. Nothing will happen. You are going to lift up your voice. Connect your spirit to heaven. Connect your heart to the heart. See, we make the job easy when we do that. When heaven say you are blessed and you say amen, it just work very easily because you are connected already. He doesn't need to shout and shout and shout. Open up your mouth and connect to the heavens. Open up your spirit. Somebody, you can even be a potter this morning. You can be a potter this morning. Let's make this work easy. Connect to the Holy Spirit. Connect to the heavens. Engage the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you can shake somebody and take away depression this morning, even before they ever mount the pulpit. You can do that, you have that power. Open up your mouth this morning and connect to the heaven. Take that in, take that in. Zapara Katala Manosha. If I were you, I would connect, I would connect, and I'll be operating from a realm different from this one. In the name of Jesus, I ascend into a realm different from this one. I engage the Holy Spirit. I take, I take, I take, I take what has been given to me, I take what I've been made available. In this service, let Barado Shokotolabo, a Barata Sakatalama Moshe, Mekatula Babasa. It is when you do this that you will see that that you see massive reward. In the name of Jesus, we are saying little declaration chains are falling. Little declaration chains are falling. Tears are being wiped out. Prayers are being answered. Yoke are being broken. Bodies are being lifted up the shoulders. Are you praying? Are you praying? Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in the mighty name of Jesus, Let's take the national anthem. in the house this morning lift up your voice and begin to pray for Nigeria begin to pray for Nigeria we will not be silent we will not be tired we will not give up Nigeria will be great again open your mouth and begin to pray for our country Nigeria 
Jebolodo Saka Dalaba Bosha Kanamana Ege de Bosanda Lababa. We see the hand of God resting upon this country. Egonda Basata Labadikanda Labada. Emanonama Shata Laba. It is evil to be silent in the face of evil. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. If it is an error, you would not be quiet. You will not be silent. Say there is an evil under the sun uh, that princes walk on foot uh, and, and, uh, and serve and ride upon the horses. It is an error. We are correcting it this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, we are correcting it this morning in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, uh, don't forget uh, that we ought to pray for men in authority. We ought to pray for men in authority. Let's correct those errors. Uh, it is an error for a prince to walk on foot. Uh, we take our place we take our place in Nigeria. We take our place in Nigeria. We take our place in Nigeria. Babo Sakatala Baba Sadalabada. Egagabara de Shatalaba. We declare that there is a shaking. Shaking out evil and shaking in good. In the name of Jesus. We declare that there is a shaking. Shaking out evil. In the name of Jesus. Parada Shatalamakai. Ezazeke de Lebendu Sandalababa. E Mamo Shatalaba. E Katatapa Satalaba. It says supplication. He says supplication, prayers, uh, intercession, uh, and thanksgiving. This, this, this are your duties. Bosa to la manasha, ekatekate la babosa. Ma parada, we are royal priesthood. We are kings and we are priests. Declare those words upon this country this morning. Parodosa, we are not giving up. We are not giving up. We are not giving up. Declare that. Let let us access. Let us access that the cross have made available. Let us speak for this country. In the name of Jesus, we speak redemption for Nigeria. We speak redemption for Nigeria. We speak redemption for Nigeria. We instill the name of Jesus. We instill the name of Jesus. Shata. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. The Bible say for a while they have been without God that is not the true God. Let every God that is not the true God fade away. In the name of Jesus. Only the name of God will stand. Only the Council of God we stand up. Only the council of God we stand up. In Nigeria, let the wisdom of the wicked turn into foolishness. In this country, Father, we declare that Nigeria will be great again. We declare that we begin to see the things that we desire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are praying. Lift up your hands above your head and jam them together for Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody just wave your hands to Jesus. Give him all the glory. Give him all the adoration. Father, we bless your name this morning. Somebody wave your hands to Jesus. Come on. Wave your hands to Jesus. You deserve all the glory and all the honor. Father, we bless your name.
Father, we bless your name, oh God. Somebody scream. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody talk to your neighbor. Are you ready to dance? Are you ready to give the Lord a praise? Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. 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 Jesus. Somebody wave your hands to Jesus. Come on, everybody. Wave those hands to Jesus. Hallelujah. Put those hands together. Come on, everybody.
that I have is a life of Christ in me. This life that I have is a life of God. This joy that I have is the joy of the Holy Ghost. This life that I have is a life of Christ. Hallelujah. When I say praise the Lord, make we shout hallelujah. When I say praise the 
to the King of Kings. 
Good morning, church. All right, the next few minutes we'll be praying in the language of the Spirit. We'll be interceding in the Spirit. Praise the Lord. But before we pray, I just want to ask one question. And that question is, how do you treat somebody who has very high regard for you? How do you treat somebody who has very high regard for you? Just think about it in the next few minutes. You know that this has high regard for you. How do you treat that person? Where do you place that person? And so the psalmist started interrogating Psalm chapter 8. verse 4 it says what is man that thou very mindful him help us with this microphone you have made him a little lower one translation says than Elohim some says than the angels you say what are men mortals that you should think about them. And so God has very regard, high regard for you and I. And that is why he sent his son to die for us. Not only that, he has left his spirit to be with us, to guide us into all truth. And so with that consciousness, So I want us to approach God's throne from the point that God has very high regard for you. You know, when we listen to Bishop on Friday, you're not coming to beg. You're coming to take what belongs to you. Praise the Lord. Say so you gave him charge of everything you made. You say putting things under his authority. God has put all things under our authority. And so we'll act in that position. As we go to the place of prayer this morning, you're not coming to beg, but you're going to declare in righteousness what God has made you and who God has made you. And I will not be sad. Aya Barados Andi Barakos Kataya Imbrandos Yataya Ikapapari Karundo Brisante Libralahanda Aya Rabos at Abahanda Aya Iparundo Prikaskete Yalahanda Ipaparados Yataya Imbrandu se ke tebraanda, e kara da baru se tebreandi. We refuse to be silent. E kapa pa ya do sataya. Imbrando si kataya. Father, we thank you because you are mindful of me. E kaboriandu barasuso to breandi. You have given me charge and authority. You have given us dominion. Ike Papa Yandi Barasoso to Libra Lahanda. And so we declare our dominion and our authority. Iri Taya Bari and Osiataya. As this song is going on, begin to declare the things that God has done for you. Ike Papa Siataya. Lord, we know the plans you have for us. The plans of good and not of evil. I carry a toss at Embralahanda. I keep a bay in the Barundo Brienne. And so we call for those plans to manifestation. Ayala Rosia Taya. Embrando Sicande Baratos Cataya. E Cararada Sosia Taya. Ephesians chapter 2 10. He says, You have made us, we are God's masterpiece. 
Declare to yourself, I am God's masterpiece. I am carved in his image. I am created in the image of God. I am endowed with gifts because I am God's masterpiece. Creativity lies in me. Victory is mine. Greatness is in me. He said, created anew in Christ. Therefore, you are a new creation. All things have passed away. The causes, the generational causes of the past do not follow me. The problems of the family do not follow me. The mistakes of others is not possible in my own life. Riandi Barato Sataya, separate yourself, separate yourself, declare that to yourself. And some say that in this place they don't marry on time, in this place they die at this stage. He said, You have been created anew in Christ. I am anew in Christ. I kapa parondo brasande baratosa, I kampo luprasande barataya. What happened in the past does will not in any way at all determine where I am going to. I kept Pralando Bakuskata. It's a created anew in Christ for what to do the good works that have been planned before now. I am prepared, I am made to do good works. Anything less than good works in my life is not accepted any longer. God has so much regard for you and I. God has so much regard for you and I. And so if people do not regard you, that is not your position. God has regard for me. He said, what is man that art mindful of him? God is so mindful of you. And so do not allow challenges to define who you are. To define your personality. He said, you come boldly, come boldly before his throne of mercy, grace. That you obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. We are not approaching God from the point of beggarliness. No. The point that he is mindful of us. And he has given us dominion. Why don't you raise your hand and begin to thank God. Father, we bless your name. Thank you for having so much regard for us. Thank you for giving honor to our requests and our prayers, O oh Lord, and our supplications. We return all the praise, all adoration, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' most precious name, we are prayed. God bless you. That is grace. Mariam Webster defines grace as a divine assistance in the affairs of men. A divine assistance in the affairs of men. He defines it as the kindness of God that is released to mankind. Unmerited. Undeserved. And I dare say to you, you can't end grace. It is not what you pay for. Your qualification does not qualify you for grace. It is God.
God's mercy that qualifies you for so grace. special. And poetry that is my decision Spiritual fellowship that ain't no division I'm kickstart, freestyling like an ignition Grace Something I can purchase plus food on my table. I got to say grace. G. Uh, grace. Come on. Grace. Say grace. Grace. G. grace. Come on. Grace. 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 Uh. Oh, ye people of God, we're talking about grace. G R A C E. God's riches at Christ's expense. See, grace is not cheap, and grace is not a license to sin. It is a power given to us to act just like Christ, a spotless lamb who has paid the price. He who was without sin, yet was made sin for us to be sanctified. He who was blameless, yet for our sake he was crucified. And that's the grace we're not even qualified for. But we can obtain it through the message of the Lord. He is the access to attain God's righteousness. The amazing grace is so available, so abundant and sufficient. The grace allocated for each. The grace within your reach. And for your info, church, free is this grace Remember that saves. You know what I'm saying? This is what the evil that comes from the Lord saying. The one is grace, yeah. His grace, come on, talk about His grace, yeah, come on, His grace, unmerited favor is what we're grateful for. Sweet smelling sour that comes from the Lord, yeah, talk about His grace, yeah, His grace, yeah, talk about His grace, come on, His grace, yeah, G R A C E, God's riches at Christ's expense, and I'm saying the reason for the season, yeah, so I'm gonna praise the Lord, make some noise in the house, yeah.
my peace. Everywhere I go, he is there to save me. Oh, oh, God is the healer. Oh, oh, God is the healer. Oh, oh, God is the healer. Oh, my God, he is my savior. Oh, my God, he is my savior. Way back, he was like he was a loser. Try saving, it be all my sister. Oh, Lord, you are my healer. redemption and eternal reign. As the sun sets on despair, hope rises with the promise of resurrection. Through pain and triumph, the journey unfolds, reminding us that a lot can happen in three days. Somebody shout! Woo! Hallelujah! Good morning, church. We are here to minister a song to you titled Easter Hallelujah. And as you listen, may you be blessed. Amen.
Just one millionaire. Can one millionaire solve all your problem? The problems you have been carrying from your generation to generation, one millionaire cannot solve it. But with one millionaire, you can get this mantle. Come and buy before it finishes. Oh, mantle for sale. Oh, to come buy in a hour, but mother for sale. Wait, wait. See, eh? The thing is for your wood, eh? When you just snap finger, bam, you catch fire. Serious, straight. You know that bush where, uh, where, where born, where God talked to Moses, eh? Now from there, I catch this fire. Wood come, eh? I did tell you. Like this, you don't catch fire. Wait, wait, wait. You want the LP? The LP. Uh, yeah, normal last price on a one five. Uh, only. See, yeah, this firewood, once you put them for fire, four years, you never bomb finish. I did tell you. Try them. Try them. Now one five last. One what five. is going on here? One five now. Firewood. Uh. Holy water, okay. Thank you, customer. Now firewood, now three five. Mantle for what? No one buys it. Hey, Jesus. Buy your firewood. <laughs> Buy your firewood. Oh. My house is to be called a house of prayer. You people have turned it into a den of thieves. Ah! Shiliki, can you imagine this man? Wait, 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 wait. Who, be this one now? Who do you think you are? Eh? What gave you the right to do what you just did? Shiliki, me. Which hmm? face? When did you come to this church? Hey, God. You see all of us you're seeing here? We are the movers and shakers of this church. Correct. We started this church from the Why foundation. Hey. Yeah. Tell come, come, come. Mm. You even have the effrontery, the other city, to tell us what and what not to do. Hey, oh God. You see this youth of these days, my brother? You do not even have respect At for all. the ancient landmark. Ah. You do not read in your Bible. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 28. You say, do not remove the ancient landmark. You do read it. Jesus. You do not. You see these traditions, eh? And all these cultures, they have stayed for hundreds of years before you were born. Why are you? See, don't provoke me this morning, no. Don't provoke me this morning. Take these things out of here. This is my father's house. It should not be used for trade. Ah, take it out of here. Young man. Young man. Why are come here? Hey. I said, come here. You know the thing, eh? We've been watching you all this while. Chichi, my father in heaven. My father in heaven. Who is your father in heaven? Eh? Ask who me. is this your father Ask in heaven? That man who is in fact, father. okay. How are we sure that you are serving the same God we are serving? How can you prove it that this your father in your heaven we are calling every day is the same God we are serving? Can you prove it? Or you have prove it? Prove it, though. Right. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up.
For fear of him, the keepers did shake and became as dead men. Review that story one more time. An angel of the Lord appeared unto the women and said, Fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, for I know, for I know. Among the dead, he is not here. He is not here. For he has risen as he said. For he has risen as he said. Come, Come see a place where the Lord used to live. Remember what he said when he was yet at Galilee?
And so, the temple was destroyed and raised in three days. Jesus Christ, the temple of the Most High, died for our transgressions, that we might live forevermore. Now, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he is not his. And if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin. But the Spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his Spirit who dwells in you. Jerusalem, of Jerusalem, it is well known. You know, see, I went the whole thing that happened. I just reason now, just reason and reason now. Better not forget. Maybe we did go, maybe we did go. I'm not just understanding what happened, right? Young man, 
what are you discussing that makes you look so <laughs> sad? <laughs> this one, now, Johnny, just come home. No, no, no. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. The one thing he say, he never hear about uh, Jesus in Nazareth. This man way come, just they perform miracle. Eh? See, bro, take a tell you something. If that man teach you scripture, you know, repent. Forget them. Never don't take over you. Now, free ticket to hellfire. Ah. I didn't tell you. Because there's a rumor go around. No be the uh, Mary Maga. Uh, uh, Magdalene. That's a big answer. Just talk. Uh, 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 yeah. I asked and I didn't just they spread the rumor. But I can't hear some people don't go, they go confirm, say the truth, the matter not true. Ah, yes. Now, so. Ah. I hear them. <laughs> Una mumu no too much. Huh? Ought not Jesus to have suffered these things and enter into glory? And the beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village whither they went. And he made as though he would have gone further, but they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it, and brake it, and gave it unto them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. I took him. I took him. I said, wait, this man is behaving. See, see, Fudo. If Fudo worry you, ah, you wait, you should not play. You know, you know, you chop this thing alone, eh? Go there, go find the eleven. Come this way, let's go.
Jose <laughs> Kojina no zebra hatle, do zani manale para le hoska mana jite boroti zala hatayava. You are the reason I live. You are the reason I live. You are the one for me. I. You're just the very one for me. You are the reason I live. You're the one for me, Jesus. You're just the very one for me. See, so why should I be when I have you? I'm surrounded by your love. You're everlasting, Lord. And why should I care what people say? They don't know what you mean. Saying you are the reason I live. You are the reason I live. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. You're the one for me, Jesus. You 
want you to know this morning as you worship him that you are special. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We adore you. We magnify your name. You alone are worthy. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. The I am that I am, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. If you are alive and well, lift up your hands above your head and give God praise this morning. Let me hear you make a joyful noise unto the Lord this resurrection Sunday morning. It's resurrection Sunday morning. Somebody shout to the Lord. Shout unto the Lord. Give him praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor and adore him. Magnify his name. His word. to be well hallelujah I said what a day to be alive and to be well it's the last day of the month of March and it is that day when Jesus said it is finished and it marks the beginning of another season in our lives me look at your neighbor and say to your neighbor I am blessed and highly favored I am deeply loved I am extravagantly blessed now you will notice this morning that I started with I and not you because I am important self first is not selfishness so now that I have said it to myself, I can say to you, you are blessed and highly favored. You are deeply loved. You are extravagantly blessed. Look for one more person. Tell them you are blessed and highly favored. You are deeply loved. You are extravagantly blessed. Find one more person. Three, resurrection. You are blessed and highly favored. You are deeply loved. You are extravagantly blessed. Now come back to yourself and say, I know. Do you really know? I said, do you really know? Do you really, 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 really know? I know that I am blessed and highly favored. I know that I am deeply loved. I know that I am extravagantly blessed. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you people. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah.
protection. I, my apostle, my sweet perfume. Can you and me? Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10 he said I am what I am by the grace of God and this grace that was bestowed on me was not in vain so I labor more abundantly than they all hallelujah Hallelujah. He says, it is not even me. It is the grace of God that is with me. So sometimes, lift up your right hand. Lift it up, your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Put it down. How many of you know that there are people wishing and begging that even a finger will move. Not the talk of the hand. Yet you can't lift up that hand to give God praise. Uh, Lord, I'm grateful. 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 What can you what can you thank God with? On a day like this, what can you thank God with? What can you give him as thanksgiving? Jesus,
Presiding Bishop, Power Touch Assembly, Enugu, you're welcome, sir. Thank you so much for being here. Hallelujah. This morning, I'm going to be bringing you to a place of understanding of the reason why you are still standing, the reason why you are still living, the reason why you can go to bed and wake up without any fear, without any shadow of doubt. The reason why your place as a child of God is protected. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be bringing you the subject from Big Daddy's book for Jesus sake. For Jesus sake. The reason why there is a resurrection is because Jesus decided to go to the cross. The reason why you are born again, the reason why you are saved is because Jesus. He said in Isaiah chapter, chapter 6, he says, he says, who will go for us? He said, I will go. Send me, I will go. And I will expose you to certain things that you need to know. And how, Pastor Sam said something this morning. He said, he said, that, he said that, you know, that God has a regard for you. What is man that thou art mindful of him? What is the son of man that thou visitest him? You have made him a little lower than angel. You give him authority over all the works of your hands. I want to give you a reason to boast in your God. For Jesus' sake. So I'm going to be reading a couple of scriptures this morning. And then when I read them, I just flow. Amen. Father, thank you for what you are about to do here this morning. Just give us understanding. I take authority and dominion over every life from the pit of hell. 100, 150, 200 meters radius of this entire environment. Satan, you have no right of oppression. This is God's territory. It is my territory. God is in charge. So am I. As I speak, let the heavens open. Let the blessings come down. Lord, let understanding be given to your children. That they may know truly that they are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people set aside to show forth the praise of him who has called them out of darkness into his marvelous light. That they may know that you are the God of all grace, that after they have suffered a while because you called them to glory and to virtue, you will perfect them, you will, you will establish them, strengthen them and you will settle them. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 6. Hebrews 8 6. After Hebrews 8 6, you give me Hebrews 12 24. And then you give me John 3 16. And then you give me Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14. So let's go with Hebrews 8 6. Hebrews chapter 8 verse 6. All right. It says, but now had he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promises. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. Hebrews 12 24. Say, and to Jesus, he says, we have not come to Mount Zion, we have come to uh, we have not come to Mount Sinai, we have come to Mount Zion to the holy hills of God, to the innumerable company of angels to the spirit of just men made perfect and to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. John chapter 3 verse 16, you know it by heart for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and verse 14. Galatians 3 13. Say Christ had redeemed us from the law. From the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us. 
For it is written, cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come up upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith for Jesus' sake. You may please be seated. Let me begin this morning by letting you know that all of the benefits you enjoy as Christians as a result of the highest sacrifice that was ever made. And the highest sacrifice that was ever made was the sacrifice of Jesus coming in human form to die so that man can regain his glory. Everything was provided for in Jesus. The Bible says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. The same was in the beginning. Without the word was not anything made that was made. Colossians says that by him do all things consist. And so everything, everything Hallelujah. Everything is in Christ. Amen. Everything. He says that he says that in him dwelleth the fullness of the Godhead bodily. You are complete in him who is head of what? Principalities and powers. And so everything that the believer enjoys is as a result of Christ. When you go back to the very beginning. God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And you know what God did? God poured everything in him, in man. Amen. Every single thing in him, he poured in man. That's the reason why the devil came. The devil came because he was looking for something from God, couldn't find it. And had seen that in man, all had been put. And he came to man. He succeeded, albeit for a while. That's why you see in Isaiah chapter 54, it says, in a little while I hid my face from thee. It says, but with everlasting kindness. Hallelujah. So everything that I am, everything that I have, everything that I will become, everything that I will ever, even the thoughts now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I ask or think according to the power that worketh in me. Listen to me. Even when I'm thinking it, he already has provided it. So, everything by his stripes I'm healed. Even before, Amaka, even before you were born. The stripes had been prepared for your healing that you didn't even know that will come. So, but where did Jesus, where did God wrap everything? He wrapped it in covenant. He wrapped it in covenant. He wrapped it in something that he cannot break. He wrapped it in something that he will not break. Jeremiah says that, he says that, he says even if you can break the covenant of day, which is impossible, the covenant of night, which is very impossible, he said then, only then will I break my covenant. But it's impossible for a man, the best that a man could do was to say moon, stand still, sun, stand still. Day was still day. Hallelujah. No matter how long the day is, night will come. No matter how long the night is, day will come. And I need you to understand, people of God. That in the covenant is wrapped everything that God has planned. There are several covenants in the Bible coming from the Old Testament. There's the Adamic covenant. There's the Abrahamic covenant. There's the Mosaic covenant. There's the Davidic covenant. Hallelujah. These are covenants. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? But there's a covenant that surpasses all covenants. It is the covenant of Jesus. 
Amen. There are different bloods from the Old Testament up to the New Testament. There's the blood of goats in Genesis chapter 3 because when God wrapped man in skin, skin didn't fall from the sky. So something had to die for skin to be taken. That blood was silent because it was, it was not mentioned. Hallelujah. Because God wanted to do a silent restoration, but man did not understand it. Hallelujah. If man understood the silent restoration, we probably would not be where we are. But everything, there was a provision made right from the beginning. And so we came to the blood of goats and bulls and all of that, and they still couldn't do anything. The blood of goats and the blood of bulls were a constant reminder of your weakness, your frailties, your failings. Hallelujah. And here comes a blood. There is a blood. I said there is a blood. That blood comes from the cross of Calvary, from the body of a man who gave himself willingly. There's a blood. He speaks. Are you understanding what I'm saying? There is a blood that speaks. That blood speaks better. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That blood speaks what? Better. I said that blood speaks better. That blood does not speak bitter. The blood of Abel speaks bitter. But the blood of Jesus speaks better. So he said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. That's the man that sheds his blood, gives up the ghost, and life was still in him. Somebody say, I have a better covenant. Oh my God, say this thing like you know. And you know my better covenant are based on better promises. And they are not just better promises, they are sure promises. For in Christ, the promises of God are here. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Amen, it is so. So everything was wrapped in the covenant and we are beneficiaries of this covenant. Now, can I, can I tell you something? Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you brought nothing. You brought nothing. When he went to the cross to die for you, he didn't ask you for anything. In Genesis chapter 15, God said to, a to, to Abraham, gather the pigeons, gather all of that, gather this and gather that. Put it, I will come and pass by. Every time you think that you can bring something, then you fail. Every time you think you can bring something. Sometimes, why we don't get blessed and why we don't prosper is because we think of the, our credentials. And I, I brought this. I, Big Daddy was saying that to us on Friday. I brought this. I brought that. I did this. I did that. Listen to me. You brought nothing. He says, there is nothing that I have that I have not received. So in Genesis 15, Abraham brought things. That's why even with everything he brought, Genesis 16, he still looked for Hagar. Hallelujah. That's why with everything he brought, Ishmael was still produced. That's why with everything he brought, God said the one that is the promise is not Ishmael. Until you understand that you have nothing to bring. You can't take full advantage of the covenant. The only thing you have to offer is to believe. So everything was in him. So Jesus came as the mediator of a better covenant. When you have time, you read Hebrews chapter 8 from verse 1 to the end. He will bless you. He said, for if the first covenant was not faulty, 
there would have been no need. But he found fault in it. So what is the origin of this better covenant? Jesus is the mediator. A mediator is an intermediary. Someone who intervenes in things. Hallelujah. And in, uh, 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 someone who intervenes. An intermediary. A go-between. Someone who comes between. And the devil said, I will kill man. And Jesus steps in between man and God. And the devil. Hallelujah. Can I have four people here this morning? Four. Quickly. Four. Four people. Quickly. Four. 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 Four, four men. What are you guys waiting for? Young people, jump up and run. All right. Come and be my Jesus. Yeah. Oh. And be the one that wants to attack somebody. Jesus, step aside. Up, go up. This is the man you want to attack. I know that you will get person. So, if you attack him, he will fall. But this man is God. And so this man is here. So the devil is coming to attack this man. So you are going to intervene. So, so you see, so he comes here. But watch this, watch this. God stood and was watching. And so the devil gets upset and goes to look for his cronies. And tells them that that man has been deceiving you. That man has been talking nonsense. That man has been claiming to be God. That man has been saying that he's a child of God. He has said, destroy this temple and in three days uh, I will raise it up. And said, you know what? I can't fight him. Can I have some people here, please? Thank you. These are the Sahindrans. The Pharisees. The sad that you see. Come, come. I need more people here. What are you people waiting for? Are you afraid of being this Pharisee? So this man, watch this, comes. Come. He comes to chat with them. And he tells them, this guy. Now this Jesus is trying to protect this man. God was standing and watching. Then we have disciples disciples can I get some disciples right here thank you disciples so when they, when Satan was done talking to them he walked away to come and stand here stand here waiting for an action these guys looked at the disciples of Jesus and they were looking for the one that they can take and there was one that always had the pulse so they looked for Judas so you will engage him come and engage him come and talk with him all of you go and talk with him I want to show you something and I want you to follow me closely so they go to engage Judas outside of the disciples they tell Judas that, listen, you have been keeping the money and you have not been able to do anything with the money. We will give you money you can use. When they finished engaging him and they had spoken to him and they told him what they were going to do, 30 pieces of silver. This man had silver, he couldn't touch it, even though he had been stealing. They told him 30 pieces of silver. So he agreed and said, I will go and find out when is the appropriate time for you to take him. Since you cannot find any occasion against him, since you cannot do anything against him, we will go and find an occasion. And so this man comes with the disciples. Everybody come. Jesus comes here to the Lord's table. And everybody was there. And Jesus said, this is the hour that the Son of Man will be 
betrayed. But John chapter 17 verse 1 didn't say this is the hour that the son of man will be betrayed. He said the hour is come my God that you will glorify me as I have glorified you. So the betrayal in the heart of a man was glory in the heart of Jesus. Because when Jesus sees you, sees this betrayal, something that is supposed to make him sad. Oh, Bible says, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him and took the cross. He looked at this young man. He looked at him and said, for just this one person, I am joyful. While they have connived, while Judas is trying to betray Jesus was excited because somebody will be protected. For Jesus' sake. For Jesus' sake. So Judas will do everything. And will deep with Jesus and will not be a, will, the conscience will not even tell him that I'm the one. And he will go. To Jesus. This Jesus resisted this one from touching this one. But G Judas would say, I'm close to him, I know his weakness. I'm close to him, I know when he sleeps and when he does not sleep. I know when he eats and when he doesn't eat. I know I have been with him when he cried and said, My father, my father. If it be my will, Lord, let this cup pass me by. So I know that Jesus has got some weakness in him. Oh, yes. He said, oh, but not my will, but thy will be done. And so Judas will come and tell them, come back, Judas. Leave the disciples. He will come and tell them, I have found a way. I need your soldiers. He is going to be at a garden. And in that garden... There are usually 12 of us that go into him, with him to that garden. But you have soldiers. And what he normally does is that he will leave nine of us somewhere. Then he will take three. It is when he takes the three that we will round him up. Because we are more in number. But I've come to tell somebody, one with God is majority. You can never be outnumbered. I said, if you have Jesus, you can never be outnumbered. So, he comes to Jesus with his soldiers. Jesus, come down here now because you are in a place in the valley. You are in a place where you are groaning. You are in a place where you are asking God. You are in a place where you are saying, God, uh, oh, if it be my will, uh, let this cup pass me by. Can I have two, two? three disciples there come and be with him here you had the nine and the rest were there uh, up there and Judas comes with soldiers so uh, he comes with them he said when I get there the one I kiss so he goes and he gives Jesus a hug Jesus did not stop hallelujah then Jesus asked, whom seek ye for? And they said, Jesus. Even the people that came to arrest Jesus did not know Jesus. So he had to identify. By the time he said, I am he. The minute he said, I am he, all of them fell apart. They fell. Why did they fall? Because the power in Christ is a power that cannot be seized by anybody. For Jesus' sake reason why you can boast is because of Jesus the reason why you can stand strong is because of Jesus the reason why you can you can you can you can oh my god I am the light of the world I am the salt of the earth the reason why I can say that is because Jesus said I am the light of the world and finally Jesus says that these people don't have power over me but I can offer myself willingly and he agreed and he followed them notice that all this while Jesus was no longer present here but the devil had had a taste of Jesus and he could only see this guy afar off but couldn't go near him because he doesn't know when Jesus will appear here again and he didn't want that contention so they took him 
to the cross. Covenant. They judged him. Now this is what the Lord said to me in the preparation of this meeting. God said to me, it would have been unjust for God himself to use his power from heaven to take back that glory and give to man. Say, but God needed to judge himself. And God cannot judge himself in divinity. So for him to judge himself, he has to come in humanity. Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, he said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who taught it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took the form of a servant uh, and, uh, and, 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 and the form of a man and he died the death of the cross. So God, to judge himself, it was man that gave this thing up. So for God to judge himself, God must come in human form. So and for, for, God, for God to be totally human, he must be born of a woman. Now, a woman that is not a virgin has already been stained. And the holy God cannot come from a stained body. So he will pick somebody. What glory for God to choose you. So he will pick somebody. And then Jesus will come through Mary. Will grow up as a child. Will learn everything that human beings know how to do. Will be taught. Will grow in stature and in favor with man and with God. He will keep growing. He will become a man that had work to do. Son of a carpenter. So he will learn carpentry. Then, divinity will begin to interfere with humanity. And as divinity, divinity begins to interfere with humanity, the power of God in Christ will go into operation. And so, from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, all of the expressions, and Big Daddy said that much to us, uh, all of the expressions of Jesus was to show that divinity operates in human form so that you and I can see the examples that was before the cross for Jesus sake Deacon I'm alive and I'm well for Jesus sake I woke up this morning got out of my bed sat on my table prayed, studied got into the bathroom had my bath, brushed my teeth, wore my clothes, got into my car and drove all the way here. It was for Jesus' sake. Haven't you seen people who wake up? Their eyes are open, but their body is not moving. So, so, They took him. They crucified him. They crucified him. Where's Michael? Who knows that song? To take the microphone quickly. Oh Jesus, can we, can we, can we be fast? With all power in his hand. They crucified him, they crucified him, and they nailed him to a tree. His love never fails. His love never fails. His love. On a tree he died, the king crucified with all power in his hands. They mocked his crown, they denied his power, his king and 
because God must judge himself. He had to move from God, father, relationship to authority. Hallelujah. And he says what? My, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? This was this was New Testament. God judging himself. Turning his back against his son. But when you read Isaiah chapter 53 verse 10. Isaiah 53.10 Quickly, quickly Isaiah 53.10 It says, yet This God that refused to look Amen Why did God turn his back? Because in the judgment of himself It was difficult for him to look and bear The pain of his son who was now calling him to act as an authority. But then in Isaiah 53, he says that it pleased him. In other words, whilst this was going on, they say God turned his back. But in actual fact, can I have a seat, please? A seat. Give me one seat quickly. In actual fact, thank you. In actual fact, put that seat here. Come and sit down. In actual fact, he sat down and he was smiling. It pleased him. When they slapped him, he said, yes, that's for my children. When they pierced him by his side, he said, yes, that's for that, my daughter. I know she was, she's in sin, but that's for that, my daughter. When they, when they, when, when, when they flogged him, and there was a stripe. He said, that's for that my daughter that is sick. The healing is there. That's what's going on. So he was smiling. He was laughing. Every whip, they gave him 39. I mean, 40 strokes. All of the 40 strokes that they gave to him, each one was significant because it marked something. Whilst Jesus was taking the whip and, and, and his skin was being torn apart and every lash, there was a reaction. God was smiling. Why was he smiling? This is the final straw. I'm going to finish the devil here. And Katusi, Janamali, Edahusa, Janaki Parosi, Janamanakapora Shata. Even when a woman sits or a man sits and they are flogging his son. Sometimes you see when there is emotion, you see the, the man react to the, to, the, to the beating. The reaction of God was, yes, that's for John. Yes, that's for Maxwell. Oh, yes, that's for Susan. Yes, slap him, slap him, slap him. That's for Grace. Why are you acting like somebody who is still where you are? You were. <laughs> F 
for Jesus' sake. This man could never, ever, for as long as this guy has accepted this one, and now, Christ in me, the hope of glory. So now Christ is no longer physical. He's no longer in the scene. Step back. Give me a seat. Right hand. Take your seat. I want another seat. Right hand. Seat. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, follow me. Get up. Come here. This guy now has a dual role. Because of what Christ has done. Ephesians chapter 2 says that but Christ, but God who was rich in mercy had saved us, forgiven us and had quickened us and raised us up together with him to sit in heavenly places. In who? In Christ. So this man is seated in heavenly places in Christ. He is in Christ, seated in the heavenlies. But he is here on earth, walking on the face of the earth. And so when this one comes, his mind is, what will I do to get this guy out of Christ? That's what he's doing against you. To get you out of Christ. But for Jesus' sake, in him I live. In him I move. In him I have my being. Oh, for Jesus' sake, I am in him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passed away. All things have become new. I am in him. Oh yes, I am in Christ. I am in Christ dead. Because he paid the price. He died for me. I am in Christ dead. Irrespective of what the devil thinks he can do. I am seated with him. In, in heavenly places. In Christ. Do you understand that English? I am seated with him. In heavenly places in Christ Jesus you are sitting with and in so every time the devil thinks so now the Pharisees the Sadducees they finished their work there was no more work for them to do so all of their stories ended with crucifixion So when we came into Acts of Apostles, and he said, I'm going to give you power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. When we came into Acts of Apostles, in chapter 2, all these people had been gone busy to begin to worship whatever they are worshiping. And the Bible calls them devout men, committed to their cause. But here comes the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus said, it's expedient for me to go. Listen to me, the reason why you have the Holy Spirit is because of Jesus, for Jesus' sake. And so he comes. And when he comes, what does he do? He gives them authority, give them power. Give them the power in a language that is born out of heaven. And as they were speaking wherever they were, all these Pharisees, all these doctors of the law, all these devout men, that were committed to whatever they were committed. That couldn't bear to see Jesus physically. But now heard the men who are followers. Who they rejected. Who they told you guys are missing it. They heard them from a distance and they appeared. And Peter stood up. For Jesus sake. The reason, thank you everybody. The reason why you are alive and well. It's Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Come on, shout it, Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God, I said shout Jesus. Jesus. The 
closest to this in the Old Testament, and I'm about to wrap this thing. The closest to this in the Old Testament was the covenant between Jonathan and David. As I was preparing for this meeting, I wrote it down in my paper and I said, God, just remind me because I know that sometimes I will not be able to go back to my notes. Man of God, Saul was made king. Saul was made royalty. Not that he was royalty from the onset. Hello? But Solomon was born royalty. I mean, um, uh, um, Jonathan was born royalty. Saul was made royalty out of the demands of the people. On David was conferred royalty. Hallelujah. But Jesus was born royalty. So when you look at Saul, you look at uh, Jonathan. Saul made Jonathan born. David conferred Jesus born. And so, in the covenant name, the Syrophoenician woman will say, Master, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Now understand that it was not Solomon. It was Jesus. Why? Because David marked the beginning of another kind of covenant. That covenant was a covenant of that, that, that took away protocols. That covenant was a covenant that didn't, didn't say that was a covenant that didn't say that by qualification. Hallelujah. Because if it was by qualification, there was a, the, the Davidic covenant came, was born out of the covenant of grace. Because if it was by qualification, there was, there was Eliab, there was Shammah, there was Abinad, uh, Abinadab, and they were all the other sons. But grace says the man on the last position on the line, who was not present at the time of purification. Because religious people like purification. Christianity is not religion. Let me tell you this, I say it to you again and again. The law cannot hold Christianity. It is grace that empowers Christianity. So when Jonathan saw David and understood the kind of person that David was, do you know what he did? How many of you know that David didn't bring anything to the covenant he had with Jonathan? First Samuel 18 verse 3 and verse 4 I'll show you this and then I'll... First Samuel 18 See, then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul who loved him? Jonathan loved David as his own soul and look at this and Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that was upon him and gave it to David and his garment, even to his sword, and to his bow, and to his ghetto, he gave to David. And David went out. What did David bring? That is what Jesus did for you and I. He was the sacrifice and the priest. He put himself on the altar. And stood as a priest to offer the sacrifice. He died on the cross. Said it is finished. He brought everything. He brought his blood. He brought his life. He brought his peace. The Bible says that he was wounded for our transgression. Bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. By his stripes we are healed. The Bible says that his visage was so mad. He was despised of men. Despised of men. We esteemed him stricken. But he stayed there. 
for you and I. For Jesus' sake. So the reason why I'm going to live my life well is because Jesus has purchased for me what I cannot purchase for myself. And so when I wake up in the morning, I stretch myself and I, myself and I say to myself, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will be glad in it. My going out is blessed. My coming in is blessed. He said, the Lord will go ahead of me to make every crooked place straight. He will cut down the gates of brass, the bars of iron in sunder. He will give unto me treasures, even the secret riches of the place of the dark. He begins to speak to himself. So, there are Two ways to harness this covenant, this power, the power in this covenant. Number one is declaration. Declaration. Hebrews chapter 4 verse... 14 to 16. Hebrews 4, 14 to 16. I'm looking for something once I see. Yeah, 14. So seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. Declaration. Wake up and declare things to yourself. Declare it. Declare. I'm a child of God. I'm God's masterpiece. I am the workmanship of God created in Christ Jesus unto good works. And he had before ordained that I should walk therein. I am what I am by the grace of God. Oh yes, I am the head and not the tailor. Oh, I shall live and not die. He teacheth my fingers to profit and everything I lay my hands to do will prosper. You begin to make declarations to yourself because that's the way you activate covenant. When you are done, number two, expect results expectation the woman said if I touch him I will be made whole I have that expectation Bartimaeus what would you have me do for you say, I want to receive my sight I have expectation the expectation of the righteous they are good and cannot, they will not be cut off for Jesus sake don't live your life anyhow for Jesus sake for Jesus sake when you get into that business place and it's not going the way you, you want it to go, enter the bathroom and just, just give God praise and glory and come back again. I'm telling you, they will see another you. What you don't understand is that favor can change within a split second. And what God does is that he, he confers on you a favor within a split second. Somebody who doesn't like you, who didn't like you just right now, you, you turn and you turn back. He said, what did you say you came for? For Jesus' sake. In a nutshell, the reason why you can smile, the reason why you can laugh, the reason why you can go through life, I reckon that the sufferings of these present times are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. The reason why I can go through is because Jesus paid the price. For my light affliction, they work for me a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Whilst I look not at the things that I see, for the things that I see, they are temporal. Uh, the things I do not see, they are eternal. Hallelujah. Thy word, O Lord, is forever settled. Every word that God speaks is a word of authority. And when you come to this knowledge, you understand that when he came to the cross, he said, All of you, as you are looking at me, it is finished. And the minute he said it is finished, and he bowed his head, blood still dripping, sweat coming out, water coming out, touched the earth. Everything, the earth opened up. Hallelujah. Your redemption, your restoration. Oh my God, your revival. It came as a result of what Jesus did. I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, I have been redeemed from the curse of the law. For cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree because he has made a curse for me. 
that the blessings of Abraham might come unto me. Ah, yes. The blessing that had been kept will come to me. I want to close with this. People of God, I heard this in my spirit and I want to say to you. Even with the children of Israel, even with all of the things they did in Exodus, in Numbers, Leviticus, and all of that, and came to Deuteronomy, and what they did in the book of Joshua, and all of those things, they never contaminated the blessing of Abraham. And so God kept the blessing safe until the coming of Jesus. That's why he said that the blessing of Abraham that had been kept hidden can come now to you for Jesus' sake. Stand to your feet. For Jesus' sake. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of, uh, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. And we did, as it were, hid our face from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows, yet, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. Uh, by his stripes we are healed all we like sheep have gone astray we have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all he was oppressed and he was afflicted yet he opened not his mouth he was brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before his shearers his dumb so he opened not his mouth he was he was taken from prison and from judgment uh, who shall declare his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living uh, for the transgressions of my people was he stricken and he made his grave listen to this he made his grave with the wicked 
and with the rich in his death because he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth uh, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him he had put him to grief uh, when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin he shall see his seed and he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands was that pleasure of the Lord that he goes to the cross and he shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many for he shall bear their iniquities verse 12 therefore will I divide him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spoils with the strong because he had poured out his soul unto death and he was numbered with transgressors and he bare the sin of many and made intercession for transgression. Look at 54 verse 1. Sing. He did all these things so that you can what? He went to the cross. God bruised him so that you can have a song to sing. That even though you don't have what you are waiting for yet, keep singing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Even though you are still looking for it, you are still waiting for it, keep singing. Because pretty soon your song will become manifestation. And you will be looking for people who have gone ahead of you and you, they will be right behind you. Because your song came out of what Jesus had done. became righteous. That even though Ananias said to God, what are you talking about? This man is a wicked man. God said, I have chosen him. I'm God's choice because of Jesus. Colossians 2.16 says, therefore let no man judge you. pray for you, you don't know Jesus, you don't know what you are missing and I want to pray, and I want to plead with you on this resurrection Sunday that you come to a true experience of Jesus a once in a lifetime experience that will last you forever Jesus, I want, I want to give my heart to Jesus. Please lift up your right hand. Let me pray with you. I want to meet with Jesus. I see that hand. Lift it up. Lift it up. Brother, lift, don't, don't be, listen. It's all about Jesus, not about man. Lift it up. I want to pray with you. Lift it up. I want to pray with you. I want Jesus. I want Jesus. Lift up your hand. I want Jesus. You want Jesus. If your hand is lifted, please come. Come and meet me here. Come. Come, I want Jesus. Come, I want Jesus. It's a decision that will help your life. I want Jesus. Come, I want Jesus. I want Jesus. Thank you for I want Jesus. Yes. I'll give you an opportunity one more time. Thank you. Listen to me. I know you are here. You need Jesus. Jesus. Everything 
everything about the covenant was for Jesus' sake. Everything. You are alive. Covenant is speaking for you for Jesus' sake. Pastor, pray with me. I want Jesus. Upstairs and downstairs. Come. Listen to me. Today is your best day. To accept what has been done for you. I want to pray for the nudging in my spirit that there's someone here who ought to be here asking you to please come. Let's do this together. There's someone in this auditorium, you ought to be here. You are at a critical moment in your life. And this decision is going to swing things for you. Please come. There's someone here. You are at a critical moment in your life. You are actually here by chance today. Please come. I beg you in the name of God. please, I beg you, just give me the opportunity to do this. People here, this, listen, listen to me. Judas was offered this opportunity. He threw it away. What did he do? With the money that he got, he bought a field. And he killed himself upside down. Committed suicide. Someone needs to be here. Where are you? Someone needs to be here. It's critical. It's critical. It's critical. It's critical. It's critical. There's enough power for transformation in this meeting. It's critical. It's critical. Look, church is not going to save you. Church won't cut it. Take it from me. No signboard will take you to heaven. It is acceptance of Jesus that will take you there. If you deny Jesus, you deny yourself access. You can, you, you, 
You, can, you could have been in a church for 20 years. It doesn't matter. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is joy in heaven today for this activity that is going to take place right now. Please so don't clap. So Please I want you clap. to pray this prayer from your heart. There's somebody, Pastor Sam, hold on. Listen. a preacher of doom. I'm a preacher of life. Because Jesus is a life giver, I'm a life giver. I'm telling you, today is critical in your life. You need to be here. Today is critical in your life. You need to be here. You need to be here. Church won't save you. Take it from me. You need to be here. And after now, I'm not going to say anything again. I'm talking because the pressure is so much on me to say. That's what I'm saying. You need to be here. Man of God, go ahead. Amen. So after me, Heavenly Father. I come before you this day. I recognize I cannot help myself. Therefore, Lord, I confess my sins. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Bible says it is the goodness of God that brings us to repentance. So let's take this again. With your hands, raise your hand, the right hand. Heavenly Father, I come before you today. I acknowledge that I cannot help myself. Therefore, Father, I confess my sins this day. Forgive me of all my sins. Today, I ask Jesus. Come into my life, be my Lord, be my Savior. From today onwards, I will serve you with my heart, with my life, in Jesus' name. And so, precious Father and our God, we thank you that by the comfort of the scriptures, your word says, whoever sins are forgiven, they are forgiven. And so, the sins of these ones are forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with command, confession is made unto salvation. They have believed today. And they have made this confession that Jesus is their Lord and their Savior. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Today you bear the mark of Christ. And therefore no more condemnation in your lives. Today you are a new creature. All things have passed away. Thank you precious Father. We return all the praise unto you. For joy that is in heaven. 
In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Congratulations. 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 I am led to just shake all of you. Congratulations. 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 And welcome into the fold. Congratulations. 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 All right. So, as just as new as a newborn baby, we need to give you some direction. And so, please just follow the counselors. They will just give you some directions on how to start your new life in Christ. God bless you. Please. announcements do we have media announcements is there somebody from the media or is it written is written the announcement is written there's no media announcement bring the file here so if you want to bless your tithes please come quickly those of you that are out here, put your hand on your head. grace available right now to take care of things. Right here, right now. Right here, right now. Yeah. Father, thank you for covenant that is speaking on their behalf. Covenant speaks on your behalf because of what he has done. I said because of what he has done. Amen. Healing is taking place in your body. Amen. Yes, that pain. Kanto baraya sate. Jana manokupari sanaute shaladaduzi bara ite. That pain. That pain. That pain. That pain. That pain. Yes. He's relieving you now. Thank you, Father. I call you blessed because He has blessed you already in Jesus' mighty name. You could drop your time. Bless you. What I want to do I want you.
want you to rejoice and go home. How many of you are worshiping with us for the first time today? If today is your first time, please, can you signify by lifting up your hand to want to just receive you? It's your first time of worshiping with us today. Can you stand to your feet? Can you stand? Can you stand? We'd like to receive you. Can you take a bold step and come forward, please? Come forward. Let's receive you. This is the place. service yet we want you to rejoice in this service because something good will begin to happen in your lives going forward I don't know what it is but something good will happen in your life going forward and so um, the song you heard is everything you will need to know about our church trem but someone will be there to speak with you they will talk with you and uh, after this service Usually, he will give you the gift of answered prayers. But you see, when we begin to rejoice, your prayers will be answered. Amen. This is how God is leading me this moment. So I've asked them to create a space for you there. So every one of you, thank you for coming. I hope that I will see you again. If you are passing, God bless you. If you are looking for a church, this is the church. On behalf of the Bishop of Trem, Dr. Michael Konko, welcome to Trem. This is our home, our family home. Please follow this young man and just take your seat there. Take your seat there. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please, don't leave. I'll be done. I want you to dance away from this place. There is something about this last day, being Resurrection Day. And I want to say to you that tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., in this auditorium, we have two hours to take everything that he has done for Christ's sake. From 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., I am inviting you specially. I'm inviting you specially to be here. Your life will never remain the same. I'm telling you this truth. I lie not to you. I tell you this truth. These things don't happen every time. But when I'm instructed, I obey instructions. 
7 a.m. to 9 a.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow is 1st of April. First day in the second quarter of the year. And what has been ministered to me to say to you is that you have come to your season of turnaround. And you are entering into spoils. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So, month of April, turn around, 1st of April, 7 a.m. prayers. Let's come and pray. Um, NECO exams is Saturday, April 20th. For all the information you need, get to the notice board. You will find them there. Counseling holds Wednesdays from 9 a.m. God bless you if you want counseling. Amen. Intercessory ministry every Wednesday night, 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. You are invited to join them. If you want the intercessors to help pray for your, your needs, your prayer points, there's a prayer box. You can put in your prayer request there, and God will bless you as you do so. Um, worship with us every Tuesday, 5.30 in the evening for power for living. Sundays like this. We have two services except for the last Sunday, Tuesdays and Saturdays, 7 a.m. in the morning um, on all across all our social media platforms. Praise the name of the Lord. We are still in the series, Living Out Grace, and that's what we're doing. Hallelujah. If you want to, if you want to share your testimonies, you want to do your child education, you want Thanksgiving, Please send your SMS to 0907137429. Or you can contact Mary Sikabulu. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All announcements must get to the media department on or before Thursday of every week. Thursday of every week. Before the close of work on Thursday, all your announcements must get there. If your announcement does not get there, please put it on the notice board. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, there's a wedding here on... There's a wedding. There's a wedding. Uh, Saturday, the 20th of April, Somto uh, and Hassan. All right, can they come some to an Hassan? Can they come quickly? I want to do this, then I want to take the offering. And then while, we're, while, while the music is on, all the April, is it April, May, March children will come and cut their cake while the dancing is on. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I've been instructed that you should rejoice and go home. All right, 20th of April. Eleven AM at the EYN Church here in Utaku, Elias Street, Utaku. So Hassan, I've told him that he should tell his parents that this is the church he's coming to. I told him that I don't need anything to say anything to him. He will just see that he's here. Amen. But congratulations. Congratulations to you both, and congratulations to, to your twin brother, who is getting married on the same day as well. His twin brother is getting married on the same day. Uh, that's why we are going there. Amen. His twin brother is getting married on the same day. And congratulations to Auntie Bridget Naji. All right, thank you. You may please pray for them. All the things you can do, do for them. Please, you may go back to your seats. All right, now we're going to take our offering. We're going to take our offering, and you're going to dance. As we are dancing, once you drop your offering, you know you are a, a match child. Just come to this thing. When we, when we, as we are taking our offering, hallelujah. I want to say um, a, a big, 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 big thank you and appreciation to the Teens Church and G, the Dewale GP, uh, um, to, to the Children's Church, 
for the powerful rendition of Hallelujah. Uh, and um, 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 to the women. The, what are they called? G Squad. My God. To the G Squad. Ah. And their squadron leader, Tino Yusuf. Amen. To Vision Theatre for all that you put together to give. And then, what can I say about TLS? The Living Stone. What a command performance that we had here today. And it's just the beginning of greater things to come in Christ Jesus. Let's celebrate all these people put together on an Easter Sunday like today. Let's celebrate them. Now, let's take our offerings and stand to your feet as we take our offerings. Please, all the women, all the ladies who have registered for the PFN conference, please see Pastor Binta after this service. Praise the name of the Lord. Very important, very important that you see her after this service. Amen. Very important. So if you have registered, just come and sit here. Amen. Amen. All right. So take that offering. All the pregnant women, find yourself in the, in the nursing mother's room for a bit of education and prayers. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to rejoice. You know why? He died, he rose again, and everything was made possible for you. Just for Jesus' sake. Hallelujah. The offering is blessed. Dance and rejoice. Thank you so much, man of God, for being here. God bless you.
Sunshine. 